everyone this is Ruben once again with Jalosophy thank you for watching this video if you liked any of my past videos please subscribe to the channel like and comment like or comment on the video it would be greatly appreciate it I would also suggest and consider that you visit our blog where all this great information you can find it and uh, read it at your own time and then study it in written form uh, also visit our Facebook page where daily we put in great and powerful messages um, that will empower you and that you can write down and maybe have a picker up if you're not feeling up to up to high standards that day uh, you can also visit our SoundCloud where you can now take this information and take it with you wherever and whenever and, and listen to it whenever you want. Uh, as long as you have a mobile phone, you can get, download the SoundCloud app, SoundCloud app and, and listen to the audios. Or I, I believe you also have the option of downloading the audio. So literally you can take it wherever uh, you want or wherever you go and listen to this great information and have your brain fed every single day. Because just like your body, you must feed your mind. And either way, you feed your mind. You either feed your mind with the negative things that go on around the world, or you can counteract it and feed your mind good, healthy, powerful stuff like what we teach you in philosophy by listening to um, this great information. Also, consider donating um, to philosophy. If you like this information, if you find this information helpful, life-changing, a uh, $5 donation wouldn't hurt. You get other perks. Um, if, you don't, if you donate a certain amount, all the information is down below. The links are down below. Um, so take advantage of that. Also, if you have any comments or concerns, email us at philosophy one at gmail.com. philosophy and the number one at gmail.com. Today I want to talk about what happens when you emit a frequency. We talk about how your brain is a transmitter and receiver of frequency and how that frequency reaches out to the whole universe or to God and uh, it affects physical matter and you attract whatever frequency you're putting out back into your life, back into your experience. So what happens when you emit a frequency? When you emit a frequency, when you emit a thought, when you have a feeling you're emitting a frequency, what happens when you emit a frequency? That exact same frequency must be drawn back to you. It must be drawn back to you. It's the law, the law of attraction. It's a law just like the law of gravity. What goes up must come down. And the law of attraction supersedes every other single law. Uh, this is why the law of attraction, when people learn how to use it and use it appropriately and correctly, miracles happen. And some people use it without them knowing that they're using it. And that is how miracles exist or um, serendipitous events happen in their life because of the law of attraction. Whatever frequency you emit... That exact same frequency must be drawn back to you. So if you're thinking of a, a certain car, right? You're thinking about a certain car and, 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 and you're wanting or you're thinking about getting a car, right? You're thinking about getting a car and you already have a certain car in mind. If you notice, you'll start seeing them everywhere. You'll start seeing them on the highway. You'll start seeing them in, in the streets. You'll start seeing them on billboards. You'll start seeing it on TV. They'll start showing up in your life until you actually have it in front of you, like in your hands. And then you own it. That is how the law of attraction works. Whatever frequency you emit, it must be drawn back to you. <clears throat> uh, you know, when you're emitting a frequency of fear, for example, maybe you're fearful. Maybe uh, you, um, uh, one of your family members, close family members have been diagnosed with a disease and, and they're facing uh, 
critical healthy conditions and maybe you have felt fearful or you have felt like you, you don't want to lose them or that you might lose them or or um, you just went through a breakup and you're feeling like this sadness and and this fear of being alone and and, and whatnot you're emitting that frequency remember whatever frequency you emit it has to be drawn back to you and you know the next couple of days uh, weeks or months boom you have a fender bender you have a car crash and you f and when you have that experience you feel the same feelings that you have been feeling for the past days weeks or months you feel fearful you feel scared like you're scared you're scared to die or you're scared that something bad ha will happen well you've been emitting that frequency for a while thus it has to come back to you it's a law the same thing happens on the good side when you you think uh, feelings of gratitude when you think in positive feelings of winning of of being worthy of, of being grateful that is probably the most powerful uh, positive emotion that exists other than love uh, it's being gratefulness being grateful for what's in your life being grateful for all the good things that ha have happened being grateful for the bad things that have happened because they've made you stronger and more aware and more intelligent and it will allow you to make better decisions in life being grateful writing down all the things you're being grateful is such a tremendous way in power and we actually do a video on that because that exercise alone will manifest the miracles in your life miracles <clears throat> so and, and you're feeling all this good good feeling suddenly in the next couple of days or in the next weeks or in the next month months boom you get a check in the mail or boom you win the lottery uh, uh, or boom you get a race at, at your job or you get offered a better job you know or or you win something or you, or, or you receive something or you meet somebody who <clears throat> who you really wanted to meet for a while a great person that that will bring a lot of happiness into your life or you know a miracle happens you get healed or or, or a family member gets healed or you know anything whatever frequency you emit it has to be drawn back to you so whatever feelings you've been you've been you have been feeling and vibrating and the thoughts you've been thinking on the regular that is the frequency you're emitting thus it has to be drawn back to you it's a law law of attraction just the law of gravity just like the law of love and all these on all these other physical laws a law of attraction it's a physical law and it's the most powerful physical law that supersedes every other law that's why the law of attraction is the reason for miracles and, and no matter you know what it may look like the law of attraction it's more powerful and supersedes every other law so that's how miracles happen so remember What happens when you emit these frequencies? When you emit a frequency, that exact same frequency must be drawn back to you. So that is why positive thinking is so important. You know, a lot of these self-help gurus or authors have been talking about positive attitudes or positive thinking for the longest since self-help, you know, came out. And the reason to talk about positive <clears throat> thoughts and, and having a positive attitude is because of what it, it, it causes in your life they understand that you know whatever you're feeling comes back to you that you emit a frequency it has to be drawn back to you <clears throat> so if you have you know positive thoughts you're gonna have positive thoughts thus your feelings will be positive thus that is the frequency that will be drawn back to you that is why listening to this information over and over and over and over and over and over and over again will allow you to really get this information into your knowledge bank and have it on the unconscious competence level so you're just doing it automatically those miracles happen <clears throat> when people plug in into the system books audios events developing relationships with like-minded people and practicing and, and giving and receiving recognition miracles happen when people start learning this information and, and you listen to it every day you're watching the videos every day you're going to the soundcloud 
and hearing the audio every day and you're reading the blog every day <clears throat> you know miracles start to happen you know and I, and I would like you to send if, if, if you listen to this information and it has helped you or you have noticed your life has changed or if you have had miracles in your ha uh, in your life happen ever since listening to this information I want you to email me email me your testimonies because I will I will want to um, express them and put them out on the videos with your permission of course um, <clears throat> of how this information has helped you so email me at philosophy one at gmail.com and give me your testimonies because this is what happens it has happened to me it has happened to other people that I have shared this information with this information, like I said, is not new, and I did not invent it. It's, it's, I did not come up with it. I was taught this information. I learned this information, and now I'm sharing it. From I've used this information, and now I'm sharing it with you. So, it happened has happened to me. It has happened to people I've shared this information with. It has happened to people who have known this information for, you know, the longest for centuries. This information goes back to even ancient texts. I mean, the biblical scripture, it talks about it there. That's the book. If, if you notice all my videos and audios and blog posts, um, I always talk about and reference biblical scriptures because I was raised Catholic and, and, and converted into a born-again Christian later in life. And so I sort of have an idea of what the biblical scripture contains and it's about. So when I started learning this information, I've noticed how so many concepts relate to the biblical scripture. Oh, this is, that is because these are physical, universal laws, right? And it applies to everything. And literally, every single religion text talk about the, talks about the same and talks about this the same principles because these are universal laws. Um, you know, so that's why I reference a lot of biblical scriptures because this information goes back to that time and even before that time. In ancient texts like Chinese texts, the Hindu texts, the Vedas texts, all these type of ancient texts, this information, these principles are there. So that's that is why this information is not new. I did not invent it. I'm just a messenger of you, if you could say. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please comment and like uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said, visit the SoundCloud, visit the Facebook, visit the uh, the blog. Um, email me when it comes to concerns. Consider donating. You know, um, other information is down below. Thank you. See you guys next time.